Are you good? Yeah. Right, and we're back. All right. Yeah. It's uh, I've, going back to it. Fuck it. It's a beautiful time to be alive. If this was the 1800s, neither of us would have a say. We wouldn't be playing computer games. I couldn't be getting drunk. Or I could be getting drunk. I think I could still be getting you drunk. You could still be getting yeah, drunk. Yeah. yeah, that's all you need. But this is it. I've I've been talking to people now, who for you know, male or female, have gone. Oh, I'm not voting for this reason or that reason. I've been trying to. Even yourself, I think I've even said this to you. A spoilt vote, I believe, is more powerful than a non-vote. Like, you not turning up to vote at all. Yeah. Because people over the last... Since, you know, the late 1700s, early 1800s, have been fighting... You know, first it was against rich versus poor, that one vote equals one vote. Hmm. And if you don't vote, I think it's just worth... You know, it's just they, they waste their time for nothing. And then you've got male and female, the suffragettes... And then you've got but to me it feels like they have wasted their time for nothing because I don't feel like my vote is worth anything because, because but it's not, ultimately it changes fuck all if I vote But it's not about whether or not your vote is worth something, it's about having your opinion. And now this opinion. Is what I don't I need to you, vote to have an opinion. But this is what I told you from the off. Right, okay, you don't like the Labour Party, right, you don't like the Conservatives, right, you don't like the Lib- nobody. Sh- nobody should have voted Lib Dems, how they got 12 seats, but I'm not allowed to rant. <laughs> this is a PC show, and I can't talk about people who are no, against homophobes. Oh, no, good, fuck it. Tim Farron's a fucking homophobe. <laughs> What's your opinion on gay sex? Oh, well, I'm not talking theology. It's got fuck all to do with theology. It's about how you believe human beings should exist. If you don't believe that people have the right to be gay, then you're a fucking homophobe. I think I've mentioned that before. Yeah, you have, yeah. Uh-huh. And I agree. Good. Yeah. Tim Farron, don't vote Lib Dem. Get rid of t- bring back Nick Clegg. I'd, I'd have voted. He him. lost his seat. No, he's got it back. He lost it. Did he? Oh, he lost it in Sheffield. He lost what, it, What, this yeah. election, was it? Yeah, this oh, election, okay. he lost his seat. No, that's a shame. Nick Clegg was all right. But do you know what he said about it? Go on. Live by the sword, die by oh, the sword. Oh, well, good. <laughs> good. Just as long as you didn't vote Tim Farron. I think I said that to the missus. She's like, I was like, so come on then, who'd you vote for? She's like, I'm not telling you. I was like, oh, that's okay. As long as you didn't vote Labour, because you'd need to be brain dead to vote Labour. She was like, <laughs> no, I didn't vote Labour. That's all right. As long as you didn't vote for a homophobe, Who'd Tim Farron. She just, she's not telling me. Oh, okay. However, I've worked it out. She's probably voted Tory. You know, she's a smart girl. Uh, she knows. She knows the right answer. Nah, just because you're a vote, I think voting Tory. It, it's got. I no, don't think it's got a lot, a lot to do with intelligence. Actually, I think it's got a lot to do with compassion. Uh, right, me and okay. Declan were talking about this the other day. Go on. What, what gives a human its value? Well, that As could a, be anything. That well, could be love. That what, could be the most valuable people. Be, to society, right, are people who are intelligent and compassionate. Compassionate, I could argue, intelligence definitely. Yeah, and I would say they're the two most important things for a person to have to benefit society in the greater good. I can't, I can't argue with compassion. Because that's just sympathy, really. And if you're intelligent, then clearly you're good for people because you'll be able to. Oh shit! Be right back. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't look good. <laughs> what the fuck's happened there? <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? Really no no outtakes. pause menu now. <laughs> uh, there you go. This is the outtakes. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> Right, after that rather long interlude again, uh, we're back. Um, I'm sure I've shown the uh, graphical error. Um, yes. That was really weird, so uh, that was lovely. I had to fix that problem. Indeed. But yeah, it's fine. What were we talking about? Lord Buckethead. Well, are, we, are we finally <laughs> going to talk about Lord we're Buckethead? We're finally going to talk about Lord I've Buckethead. I've now got to yeah. find it on my phone about the um, his manifesto, which was quite interesting. Uh, yeah, the uh, remove no, all MPs on. but himself. No, not it? MPs, all Lords. Lords, from, sorry, all Lords, sorry. Apart yeah. from the one, Lord Buckethead. Apart from, the, yeah, the one and only, Lord Buckethead. Uh, what else were we? Some of them are just pretty bollocks. No third runway, no third runway to be built at Heathrow. Where we're going, we don't need runways. No, so... Well, where are we going? Where Lord Buckethead originated from. He's taken us back to his home planet. Whom is Lord Buckethead? That is Lord- the next interesting question. Uh, his name's Harvey something. <coughs> But is it? Because he ran against Thatcher and May. Now, they're 30 years apart. True. We'd need to find out what his name was called out then. Yes. CFAX to be brought back immediately with the Oracle <laughs> and other teletext services to be rolled out by the next parliament. For anyone who doesn't know what CFAX is or teletext, um, 
it's kind of like I don't know. How would you describe teletext? Well, it was like um, it was like imagine if you had an Atari that told you information. Yeah, it was like the internet on your telly, but it was really super basic. It just sort yes. of sent you things like weather reports, football um, results, football results, yeah, sporting results, uh, holidays. I remember actually they had a holiday sort of. They still do CFAX holidays is still a thing now. Really? Yeah. Oh, there you go then. I mean, it's not done through the TV like it used to be. No. You now have to go on CFAXHolidays dot whatever. Yeah. Co. dot com, and they do it through that. Yeah. There you go. Uh, regeneration of Nicholas Shopping Centre in Maidenhead. Now I've been there once or twice. I used to run a gold shop in there. Mm. Yes, it needs regeneration. <laughs> I do believe that. Fair enough. It's not bad. Don't be wrong. I've seen worse, but it yeah. Hmm. Uh, the yeah. um the the big chunk of planet um is climbing towards Earth now. Oh okay, cool. Um, Buckethead on Brexit. A referendum should be held about whether the there should be a second referendum. Um yes, I believe there should be. <laughs> I don't believe there should be. I believe there should be a second referendum. I don't know if I should believe there's this a, should is, be a second the vote on pissed, the referendum. This is the thing that pissed me off about the referendum is that that people had their vote and because a lot of people disagreed with it everyone was up in arms going oh no there should be another one or anything any uh, constituency that had less than 60% shouldn't count as a leave it should be a remain vote because mm. then it all swings it over but then everyone that would have been on the leave side if it would have been remain mm. there wouldn't have been that fuss mm. that's the thing that pissed me off that was the result deal with it <sighs> see what I mean I don't think it was a fair result what do you mean like, people voted yeah and it was about bar four percent fifty fifty. It was forty eight four percent. Yeah, forty eight fifty. That is essentially half of the country. Didn't oh yeah, want to if leave. it had been sixty forty, you'd have gone bar ten percent. It would have been no, 50, well, 50. twenty percent. No, that, that's as large a majority. I still think it's a you know unfair that the forty percent of the country just ignored. But you know what can you do? This the country ignored. Well, if it was a sixty forty split. Yeah. Sixty still want to leave, but forty still don't, and but like they're made to. It's still a bit shit. But the the fact that it's just a few percentage points in it is really shitty. That, that, that only half few, the country is ignored. There's only a few percentage points between Conservatives and Lib- uh, Labour in this last Parliament, but no one's gone. Yeah, Labour should be in because anyone that voted within ten thousand people should be disregarded. It's not how democracy works. No, I know it's not. Democracy is a broken system. Anyway, it's yeah, a beautiful system. It's not. Democracy gives everyone the right to vote. Most people don't have the brains to vote. Okay. Well, we've still got about. Three minutes left. Let me just let me just go over the key points okay. I believe of his manifesto. Yeah. And this is the this is the vital one. And if you didn't read this, you're a fool. And if you didn't vote for him, you're even more of a fool. It's uh, Katie Hopkins to be banished to the Phantom Zone. Yes, I did read I, that one. I, yes. I approve yeah, my, all, on the whole. I yeah. approve for that. If I, if it was in my constituency, I'd have voted for him just on that one alone. Yeah. But then again, what didn't she promise to leave if something didn't happen? To go to America, and, and she, she didn't. Um, she got sacked from. LBC I think it's if Corbyn Radio. got voted in. I think. Oh. She got sacked from LBC Radio. I don't know what LBC Radio is. Uh, is it London? Something. Oh, London? I have no idea. Anyway, oh, she got right. sacked from it. Uh, stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia. Start buying lasers from Lord Buckethead. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe you'd have lasers strong enough to cause world domination. No, because that would be slightly worrying. Yes. So I, I think I think some of the, some of his manifesto is a little bit wild. Mm. I think that one specific. specific. But then not, a laser doesn't been... necessarily need to be well, like, you want... a, like a laser gun. It could just no, be like you want a laser... what we call lasers for your CD drive. But why would you replace nuclear missiles with a laser if a laser wasn't as powerful as a nuclear missile? But he might not be saying replace that. He's just saying we just need more CD. Yeah, lasers. but if I can go to Poundland and buy a laser, I yeah. wouldn't swap it for a nuclear missile. Well, I but he's not, he's not saying that that's what they're used for. He's not, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean they're being used to replace nuclear missiles. He just wants rid of... No, that's not even that. He's just saying stop selling Saudi weapons, basically. That makes sense. Free bicycles for everyone. I com- liked that one. To help combat obesity, traffic congestion and bicycle theft. Yeah, I'm well beyond that. <laughs> well. I suppose if everyone had a bike, no one would need to steal it. Exactly, yeah. But then if everyone had a bike, then everyone would steal someone else's bike because they'd leave a bike behind... For someone else to steal, so it wouldn't be stealing because they'd be replacing. It'd just be you borrowing. It's like it's like that uh, scheme they have in London and other like major cities. You if you borrow a bike, you lock it up wherever it locks, and whoever wants it next can use it. Yes, um, national nationalisation of Adele. 
Um, in I'm order not a big maxi- fan of Nadal myself. In order to maximise the effective use of UK resources, the time is right for Great British Assets to be brought into public ownership for the common good. She does make a lot of money just being Adele. Does she? Yes. Oh, I think she... Enough. Like, the year off, what was it? She made an album, what was it, 19, then... Was it 23, then 25, or 19, then 23? One of the two. Oh, in oh, the oh. year off... Go One, on. two, three... One, two, three. <laughs> Have we finished the episode? Carry on. No, 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 no. Uh, carry on. Because oh, we're got, near the end now. We've got so ten we, seconds. This is the last episode. No, this is the penultimate episode. No, because I'll finish it seconds. in five minutes. We've got ten seconds. Well, no, no, no. We've we've got got gonna, I'm, I'm extending the episode, Richards. But anyway, right, back to my point. Adele made 17 million yeah. in the time off while she was having throat surgery. Just because she was Adele. Yeah, fair enough. So, come oh, on, fuck off. Fucking dog. So, she yeah, had throat so she, surgery? Yeah, because I don't know what it was, but I think if it went wrong, it would have fucked up a career. Same with uh, yeah. some Watson bloke. Who was I'd imagine so. <laughs> yeah, considering that is her main income. But then yeah. again, if you've earned seventeen million in one year, I think I could quite happily retire, buy a three bed semi somewhere, and live for the rest of my life. Okay. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. So it's weird. we're having an extended episode now, considering we're ten and a half minutes in. Yeah, this is now the final boss battle. Shouldn't take me ten minutes, so it should be fine. Okay, well if it does, welcome back. Or well, if it doesn't, where have you been? <laughs> yeah, We're still on about Nor- Lord Buckethead. Uh, uh, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Legalisation of hunting fox hunters. Yes, I'm well behind that. Okay. <laughs> because the sort of people that go fox hunting with the... <laughs> need to be killed and hunted. Because they're just cunts. Right, so, so, back it, so like that. back to the 21st century <laughs> rather than the 1500s um, but yeah. fox hunt yeah I think I don't know if we've discussed this before about the law on fox hunting currently uh, yeah I, I don't know if it was on the channel but you but did anyway, say about so, like well, you we'll need just, to be a certain size pack of dogs or something like yeah, that yeah so just to recap the current law is is you can bring no more than two dogs per person so mm. because the law's incredibly vague if you've brought if there's 60 dogs there as long as there's 30 people there two people can claim a dog and yeah. say, yep, yeah, these two are mine. And that's it. That's all the law requires. Yeah. Which which is quite vague, really, because if that was to ever happen and there's enough people there, because they all support Fox Hunting, so they all know the law, mm. they would all go, well, yeah, these two are mine. And they'd walk off with them. And that'd be it. So because Labour decided to rush it through as quickly as possible rather than trying to create a law correctly mm. to ban Fox Hunting. I don't know why they tried to rush it, though. It doesn't seem like the law that sort of needed oh, to be urgently to do made. With, to piss off the Conservatives. I, think, I don't know if it was whether or not they were in power. I think it was when they were in power. Yeah. It was a Gor- Gordon Brown law. So Tony, it? Yeah, I thought, Tony it, was Blair just I thought it was Tony Blair. Sort no, of Tony period. Blair resigned, so it was that Gordon Brown period. So he knew he was going to lose the next election because... I don't know. I think he had a bit of a rough time because he had lots of floods in Hull and whatever else. He did have a tough time, but bless him. Uh, but get him onto the Scottish referendum. Fuck me, he became the inspirational speaker that England needed. I say England, the United Kingdom needed at the time when he decided that he was going to be Prime Minister. Do you think? I know nothing about Gordon Brown, really, other than he's, he a, he's a good lad. He was uh, the... He, He's he got the blame for like the, the uh, what's it called the recession and largely it was out of his control no it wasn't because he was cancelled of the exchequer yeah, but the Blair. recession wasn't just wasn't caused by the UK spending a lot of money it was caused by banks investing money uh, badly basically yeah um, in people with in things well, that couldn't that's, pay that's back. the thing we should have done what Iceland did and let the banks go bankrupt yeah because then it would have shown them that we're not interested in saving it. Like Iceland, they suffered greatly at the beginning. Like mm. Their GDP was shrinking by 10% a year or so on. And then after that, they've then grown exponentially because they've let new businesses flourish. Yeah. And that's the thing. When when a big business goes under, it stops people going to the big business and investing in smaller businesses mm. and lets businesses grow. Yeah. So that's why it's healthy to have a recession every 10, 20 years. Yeah. To get rid of the old deadwood that's not growing, they're not expanding, they're not creating jobs. Yeah. They're just there. Yeah, yeah. So if you let them die and let people create new jobs and expand and grow, mm. then I think that gives a greater good to the economy than not. Yeah. No, I do agree. I mean... <laughs> when you're in a boom bust cycle when you're in that boom businesses do become lazy and inefficient yes because they oh we're making money we're fine you know yep um, and in a recession obviously oh, what the fuck happened you there? just glitched out there <laughs> I think I did nearly got sucked <coughs> out the map um, but yeah and then the recession forces them to be efficient or do- or go out, out of yeah, business yeah. basically so yeah I, I, I see the advantage but obviously you know that means job cuts and things like that which isn't good for you know people who need that job to live no, of course. I win, I win uh, Richard. I won? killed the thing. Have we finally completed the game? Not quite. as uh, oh, okay. one more cutscene. But yeah, so yeah, pretty much we've won. I can't remember if anything else happens. Oh, I'm going to get crushed. 
Uh, I think that's it for Lord Buckhead. I think we've covered his 15 manifesto pledges. In one yeah. way or another. Or all the decent ones, anyway. All the shit ones we've excluded, because they're shit. But yeah, Lord Buckethead for the win. It's yeah. like, um, in our area, the Monster Looney Raving Party. Monster Raving Looney Party. They decided it, they'd make it law that socks be sold in pairs of three. Because you always lose one of them, <laughs> don't you? That's a bad law. I don't like that law. No, that's a good law. Because if you buy a pair of socks and you want them to match... I mean, it doesn't bother me, because I wear odd socks constantly. Hmm. So I don't care. But people that like to wear pairs, if they had a third one, mm. then when one of them goes missing, they still have a pair of socks. Mm. Yeah, it's a clever law when you think about it. But what if you don't lose it? What if then you've just got a spare sock for ages? Yeah, but in who the way? doesn't? But who doesn't have a sock drawer for spare socks? But my thought is this, Richards. Oh yeah, we've won, we've won by the way. Have we won? We finished the game. Yeah. Um, my thought is this, right? Why on earth do you waste time pairing socks? There's more to life than pairing socks. <laughs> I've got better things to do than make sure there's two items of clothing on each foot. Let's have a look. Are you wearing a pair of socks? I'm wearing... I don't know if they're matching. Yes. No, they're not. Uh, oh, you see? Yes, well... <laughs> they're still ankle... They are still sports Life's socks. Life's too short to pair socks, people. Oh, I agree. I accept that... that <laughs> it looks better it just looks cooler so when, you, I, was, when I was 14, 15 that's when I truly went I can't bother pairing socks anymore I just checked to me drawer and decided to wear odd socks it's about that age mum caught onto this and decided to pair all my socks mm. and it pissed me off so I unpaired all the socks <laughs> you unpaired them all yeah so I just took them apart just so they weren't paired well for years my mum kept saying make sure you pair your socks and I'd do it and then I thought why why am why? I pairing my socks no, that's so a... I stopped she's like pair your socks I don't want my pairs of socks pairs it's more hassle than surf oh yeah that's Isaac by the way who's Isaac that dude there why is he important? Um. Jump scare! Ah! That fucked up there a bit. Did it? Yeah. You constantly broke the game. I think we won. Uh, a bit glitchy there. But yeah, there we go. End of Dead Space. We finished it. I, I, I estimate around 30-ish episodes, maybe just under, but I have no idea really. 16 and a half minutes. Yeah, there you go. So that's all right. So Extended. yeah, extra long episode for you there. More political bollocks. Um, I can't believe we've done about By the five... time this is up, it must be like June, July, August time. Yeah, well, be, well, Crash Bandicoot's going to be the first one from what you said. Should, Crash will be well up by now. Um, there you go. So we're looking August. Yeah, so... so, so keep it up to date. Keep it up to date. But yeah, uh, the election happened some time ago for you. Uh, so yeah, it'll and be now... interesting to see in two months' time when this goes up how things have changed because of it, if at all. Nuclear apocalypse. They'll just be. See you later. <laughs> just us and PewDiePie left. <laughs> us and PewDiePie. He was too big to die, and we were he too was... small to be noticed. Yeah, exactly. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so yeah, PewDiePie's now begging us to come on our show. Who's Pew... Is he any good? I've never watched a video of PewDiePie. The PewDiePie's. The PewDiePie's. The PewDiePie's. Is he any good? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next week, PewDiePie. There you go. You can tag PewDiePie all over this, <laughs> and people will look for him. For oh yeah. See now. See now. Yeah. No, it's exactly right now. Just yeah. use clickbait. Yeah, clickbait. We mentioned PewDiePie. 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 The PewDiePie's. Shall I stop this now? Is this we done? Yeah, 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 yeah still... we're done. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs>